Let's now talk about what happens when you have positive times negative. Three times five is equal to five plus five plus five. So that's using repeating addition. We have three fives, and that is equal to fifteen. If that is the case for three times five, it would make sense for three times negative five to equal negative five plus negative five plus negative five. We're still using repeating addition. And then we can simplify this as negative five minus five minus five because plus a negative number is the same thing as minusing its positive parts. And then using the distributive property, we can get negative parentheses five plus five plus five. And since we already know that five plus five plus five is equal to three times five. We can know that three times negative five is equal to negative parentheses three times five, which is negative fifteen. So positive times negative is negative. To be even more specific, positive times negative is equal to the opposite of multiplying their positive parts. So if I have three times negative five. That is equal to the opposite of Three times five, their positive parts. So now let's talk about when we have negative times positive. So we already know that three times five is equal to five plus five plus five. So we have three fives, and we are using repeating addition, and that is equal to fifteen. Two times five is equal to five plus five, which is equal to ten. One times five, we have one five. And that will end up with a total of just five. So let's try to see the pattern so we can move further down. To get from fifteen to ten, you subtract five. To get from ten to five, you subtract five. In fact, even if you go higher up and you start with say six times five, you will see that you can. The pattern is to subtract five to go down a row. So you continue to subtract five to get zero times five, and it is zero. And then subtract five again. You get negative one times five as zero minus five, which is negative five. Subtract five again. Negative five minus five, which is equal to negative ten. Subtract five. Negative five minus five minus five, which is equal to negative fifteen. So we just found out that negative three times five is equal to negative five minus five minus five. Using the distributive property. This is equivalent to negative parentheses five plus five plus five. We already know that five plus five plus five is equal to three times five. So we can say that negative three times five is equal to negative parentheses three times five. And so negative three times five is equal to negative fifteen. So we just learned that negative times positive is equal to negative. Like positive times negative, negative times positive is equal to the opposite of multiplying their positive parts. Negative three times five was equal to the opposite of multiplying their positive parts of three and five. So what happens when we have negative times negative? We already know that three times negative five is negative five plus negative five plus negative five. We use repeating addition, and we have three negative fives, and that is negative fifteen. We can also figure out what two times negative five is. We use repeating addition, but now we have two negative fives. Negative five plus negative five is equal to negative ten. For one times negative five, we only have one negative five, so one times negative five is equal to negative five. So what is the pattern? How do I get from negative fifteen to negative ten? I add five. How do I get from negative ten to negative five? I add five. In fact, if you started from one hundred times negative five and worked your worked all the way down here. You will see the pattern is add five, add five, add five, and so we add five 
to figure out what 0 times negative 5 is. Negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. Add 5 again to figure out what negative 1 times negative 5 is. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Add 5 again to figure out what negative 2 times negative 5 is. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Add 5 again. Negative 3 times negative 5 is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is equal to 15. So we just shown that negative 3 times negative 5 is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is the definition using repeating addition of 3 times 5. So, negative 3 times negative 5 is equal to 3 times 5. So, negative times negative is positive. What's more is that negative times negative is equal to the product of their positive parts. The product is the answer you get when you multiply numbers together. The next video is about dividing. Attach is a link that you can click if you would wish.